What's up today, my fellow man soldiers? So what I'll be speaking about right now is the best defensive players you should be having on your team once Madden 21 drops. And, in it, and even if you can't get them right away, the thing is you start preparing yourself. Be like, okay, these are the abilities or attributes or players that I want on my squad. And this is why I start um, stacking your coins in order to get them. But before we get into all that, I want to ask of you guys right now, if you guys ain't subscribed to the channel, please go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Hit that notification bell right next to it to get notified each and every time I upload a video. And if you guys are liking the content, please go ahead and drop a like on the video. So anyways, let's go ahead and get into it. So what I, what I've been doing is looking at um, these abilities and these players and these X factors that they came out with and analyzing what will be the best for my squad, right? Because I'm looking for certain things. And yes, I'm a little bit basing it on not only the attributes that they're talking about, but basing it on how they functioned in Madden 20. Some of these attributes and are if they're similar to the ones that we had in Madden 20, most likely some of these attributes are going to be very OP. So these are the players that I'm actually going to be looking forward to getting. So this is what I want to talk about um, today. And even if it's not the actual player, right? Remember, even though... It's showing right now that certain players are getting these abilities and these X factors and so forth. And they're saying that these are all the players that's going to get them. Remember, a lot of these players are, they're talking about franchise. They're not talking about mutt. We got legends in mutts. I mean, mutts. We got legend in, we got legends that are going to be coming in mutt. So a lot of those players are going to be getting X factors and abilities too. So there's going to be a lot more going on in mutt than there is going to be coming in franchise. And that's just the reality of it. So don't look at what EA is releasing right now as, okay, this, these are the only players that's going to get it. No. Remember that that's really um, tailored towards franchise. Once mud, the mud, the mud news haven't even dropped yet. So just keep that in mind. So the mud news is going to be dropping around, I think, the 18th of this month coming up. So just be prepared for that. And you guys will know ahead of time because I'll let you guys know, right? But anyways, that's what I want to share with you guys real quick before I got into this because I know some of you guys have questions. How come this person can get an X Factor or is this certain team going to get an X Factor? That's really what it comes down to. If you're playing mud. Just know and understand that there's going to be a lot more players getting X-Factors and abilities. That's just the way it happens. So anyways, the first player I will be talking about is going to be Aaron Donald, right? He's going to be, he's always a sought out player just in general, right? I mean, for quite a few mans already, right? But even more so this year, just based on the fact that the ability, which there, it's a new ability in Madden and he's one, he's going to basically, he's the one able to get it right off the top. And it says the most the, the most dominant defender in NFL today, Aaron Donald, is a true game record, effective D line captain like Donald. Aren't just examples of fall; they are motivators. When he start when he enters the zone, all opposing blockers have their resistance bars wiped out. All right, so of course this will be one of the top dudes because you always want someone on the D line, right? That they can actually give give the pressure give uh, pressure to the quarterback as you're out there in coverage trying to make sure he don't throw it and a lot of times he's gonna he's basically gonna make a sack before they can even throw the ball off because you're gonna have a basically a good defensive lineman even if it's not Aaron Donald like say for instance a legend that came out that has the same ability you want someone on your D line like him right that's gonna be able to jump the snap and get to the quarterback right away or put pressure on him so he can either throw an incomplete pass or interception or just barely get the ball off you know what I mean because sometimes I know these quarterbacks uh, that they're introducing in Madden now the abilities that they have they're gonna be fu uh, functioning a lot better I should say but anyways and even if it's not because we know Aaron Donald's gonna be getting this right so that's why I picked Aaron Donald for as an example but just so you know it doesn't necessarily have to be Aaron Donald but what I will be talking about is is I pick him because of the abilities look at the abilities if even if you don't pick Aaron Donald find someone like Aaron Donald on the D line with these abilities. So I would encourage everyone to have one good D line rusher that can actually put pressure on the quarterback. That's what I'm basically saying, right? Uh, so we already read the X Factor. Here's the ability he gets Al Toro. Defenders with this ability will receive dominant bull rush wins when their pass rush points are full. So that will be a good ability. And we already know about inside stuff, right? Defenders with this ability use faster runs. Run shed moves for a better chance at shedding blocks against inside zone plays, right? I don't know. Um, apparently, you, you should be able to be able to get four abilities right now. They're just showing these to him, so I'm pretty sure he's gonna be able to get other abilities that they ain't talking about right here. But he is one of the players that, I, that, that should be sought out, even if I don't get him. I want to get players that actually have these abilities and these X factors, even if it's not him. Because you need someone on D-line, like I said, it's going to put pressure on the QB and so forth, right? So, once again, even if you're not going after Aaron Donald, 
I will go after a player, whether it's a legend or someone that comes out afterwards with these abilities and this X Factor because it's going to be very useful on the D-line. And I'm just talking about the D-line, right? Unless you're going to use a linebacker to, to actually um, use as a pass rusher. So the second person I want to talk about is going to be Bobby Wagner, right? So I put Bob, Bob, Bobby Wagner in here because he gets Avalanche. But honestly, though, uh, majority of the times, I would actually like to have two safeties, which is a free safety and a strong safety with these abilities. But because they didn't actually show two uh, safeties, I want to, or another free safety and then a strong safety. I want to be, I want to show you, I, I want to basically use uh, Bobby Wagner, Bobby Wagner as an example to basically have two uh, people with the ability of Avalanche on your team. I would encourage that. I used it this last year at Man 20. I had two people with the force at all times, which is both of my safeties, and they made a big difference at stopping the run and just making things happen and fumbles and, and so forth, right? So this is why I picked Bobby Wagner, right? So his X Factor is this, Avalanche. Yeah, Avalanche. Well, Avalanche, yeah. The NFL's best tackler, Bobby Wagner, gets his hands on a runner, Consider the play over that... There are tacklers and then there are the, these guys. When he enters the zone, any successful hit stick made while running towards the line of scrimmage will result in a fumble. That with there is going to be amazing. I believe that this is going to be so OP that they might even have to like do something about it because of the fact that they might end up doing that. Um, that's what I'm assuming so far, right? But regardless of the fact whether it's Avalanche or whether it's Enforcer, I would pick uh, two um, guys on the, uh, two guys on defense that have. Um, Enforcer at least and if they have enforcer and avalanche that would be even better. So let's go here go over his abilities So we read his actual avalanche. So he he, he is gonna get enforcer as you can tell right here It says defenders with this ability don't allow broken tackles when hit sticking ball carriers regardless of the runner size or power And the reason why I stress this is because avalanche you got to activate Enforcer is already activated as soon as you hit the field so automatically once he gets it he has it you don't have to worry about activating it, it works right, right off the top that's why i like this when it comes to by wagner so once again um if, the, if there's only a middle linebacker and, and, a, and a safety at the at the start of uh, madden 20 especially when it comes to mutt that actually able to get this ability um i would encourage you guys to have both of those because it's good to have two people with enforcer on defense at all times right because they make a it, it's it's a game changer you guys know that already but if anything else um if they do have a free safety and a strong safety which i know they have a strong safety i'm gonna show you right now i would encourage you to get it on your safeties instead right but if you like to have it on your middle linebacker that's fine too but the thing is to have two people on the defense with the enforcer so now let's go to our last person which is jamal adams it's no secret he's one of the best uh safeties into the game a lot of people he's gonna be very sought out he also gets avalanche right now i don't actually have his abilities um i got for apparently they didn't come out and show his actual abilities i'm assuming he's gonna get enforcer because he gets avalanche so that's just off the top but the thing is he's gonna be a sought out player and i know a lot of people are gonna want to get him just based on his new abilities and so forth especially if they work as op as there's making it seem it's gonna be he's gonna be one of the most sought out players so that's what i will, will say and this is what it says when it comes to him um adams is one of the few safeties in the league capable of locking up any tight end in coverage there are tacklers and then there are these guys when he enters the zone any successful hit stick made while running towards the line of scrimmage will result in a fumble okay so once again once i pick him is because it's always good to have a safety or two guys with enforcer or avalanche or whatever it's going to be entered into the game on your defense right and this and uh, in this video i'll show you guys the middle linebacker which is bob wagner but honestly i would rather have a strong safety and a free safety with all these with these abilities with avalanche i would have a free safety and a strong safety with avalanche and enforcer right um but for some reason at the start of madden we can't find a strong safety and a free safety with both abilities then it'd be better off to go after someone like bobby wagner because i would recommend having two people on your squad with enforcer and avalanche right um I would, I would like to have three, right? Like, especially with Aaron Donald on the D-line, if he was able to get an enforcer, that would be nice. But I'm going to be honest with you guys, though. I used enforcer on my D-line last year, and it wasn't as effective as you would think it would be. So I just took it off my D-line because it just really didn't work. It really didn't make a difference. I'm going to be honest with you guys, in my opinion. I'm not saying it won't work effective this year, but last year, which is or this year, which is the Madden 20, it wasn't that effective, right? But anyways, so once again, the top defensive lineman I will go after is, is a... 
as a D-line guy that's a good pass rusher, right, with the blitz ability, right, and he's able to get off that, and he's able to get off the line of scrimmage pretty fast with his abilities that he actually comes and the reactivate it at start, and two other players that have avalanche and enforcer, right, more so a strong safety and a free safety, but if not, you know, guarantee you could get Jamal Adams and then Bobby Wagner, which will have it. I don't know if they'll actually have it at the start. I'm assuming they will. But these are the these are the abilities and the and the characteristics I will go after. Even if it's just not these guys, someone with these same characteristics and abilities and X factors, I will go after. It would make a big difference and it will be a game changer. But anyways, I'm gonna go ahead and leave it right here. If you guys like what you've seen, drop a like. If you guys need subs, subs to the channel. There will be more great, amazing content coming your way. Thank you guys all for tuning in. I'm out.